going to go over the basic steps on how to service the hydraulic tensioner on a Nissan KA24E engine through the valve cover. This process can be done with the engine in the vehicle. There's a lot of people having startup chain rattle in these engines, even after the install of a brand new chain kit. This engine has an access hole installed that will give uh, quick access to the fasteners of the hydraulic tensioner that we'll be using. It'll eliminate the the need to remove the whole front of the engine just in order to replace that tensioner. If your engine doesn't have one of these access holes, one can be installed with it in the vehicle. You'll need to remove the spark plugs, valve cover, and anything that's in the way of the access hole. And before you start, you'll want to break the, the cam sprocket fastener loose. Rotate the engine until this punch mark on the cam sprocket is visible and mark that chain link next to it. We'll be using this when we reassemble the engine. And then you'll want to rotate the engine until this keyway is at 12.30 or 1 o'clock. And then you'll want to back, turn it backwards slightly so that there's some slack on the chain on both sides. When there's slack on both sides of the chain, that means that the camshaft will not have any pressure on it. That's important so when you pull the sprocket off that the camshaft does not move because that will make it harder to get the sprocket back on. Then you'll want to put a chain wedge in. This will help keep the chain from dropping off of the crank sprocket. You'll want to stuff some rags down in there and make sure you get underneath the tensioner and underneath the tensioner pistons because that will keep the piston from falling down or anything else. Now we can pull the cam sprocket off and we'll take a bungee cord and hold the chain. And take a bungee cord and hook it up to the chain. Once the chain is secure, we can pull the wedge out. And you'll see the piston push all the way out. You'll need to go in here and make sure the rag is under the piston. And then move the piston to the side slightly. And to get the piston you can use one of these tools. If you want to use a magnet, you can, these, these tools will also hold one of these magnets. And there's the piston. And to remove the tensioner fasteners, we can take this plug off of here. That gives access to the the hydraulic tensioner fasteners. And then we can remove the old tensioner it'll come right through the top there's the old tensioner now here's the old tensioner as you can see on a cold startup if there's no oil pressure that piston is allowed to collapse completely into the bore of the tensioner. And I would recommend uh, replacing it with a ratchet tensioner. As you can see how they work as the chain wears and the sprockets wear and the piston gets out further it locks in place. It'll stop the startup rattle. So I'm going to install this, we just slide it down into place.
and then take something like a Phillips screwdriver and go through one of the fastener holes and push it into the threaded area of the engine block. That'll position the other fastener so that it'll, it'll go right in. Snug that first fastener up and then pull your screwdriver out. And that second fastener, the hole will already be aligned and that'll go right in. So once the new tensioner is in, we'll pull the rags to get them out of the way. And then we'll put the chain wedge back in. And then we can put the cam sprocket back on. Make sure you line the, the punch mark up with that marked link on the chain. And we can pull the wedge out. Then we'll go in here and pull the pin on the uh, self-adjusting tensioner. You can hear it snug up the chain. We'll put the plug back in the hole. and reassemble and everything should be okay as far as the chain rattle from then on. So that's a quick way of servicing the hydraulic tensioner on the KA24E. If you don't have one of these access holes on your engine, they can be installed with the engine in the vehicle. If you've just installed a brand new chain kit and you're having startup rattle problems, most likely it's a hydraulic tensioner. And in that case, this would be a lot quicker way of servicing the tensioner than removing the whole front of the engine.